I spent $8,000 of my own money to test the hell out of these small gun safes. And today, I will be pry bar testing these little bastards to death. This is also my year-end review, and this is how the Bill Conch performed. A little over a year ago, I spent $139 for this little shitbox. It's a smart safe. So how was the performance of the app and Bluetooth? It's bad. I would avoid even using the smart features. Can I get my money back, please? No? Okay. Here is the biometric time to open test. All right, and there is your official time. Not too bad of a time, but this next test is a little more special ed. Here is the wet and powder test. Just no better made biometrics will pass these tests. It's a damn piece of toilet paper. Let's see how it goes. Let's go to clean. It's a sensitive little... So this is a very sensitive... Now, it does have a lockout, too, so if you do this too many times, it will lock you out. For, I think, the first time is five minutes, then ten minutes, or something like that. So, I wipe my finger off. Let's do a lighter amount this time. Let's try to swipe that really quickly. This is a very light amount. Let's do it light, light. Let's do an even lighter amount. So, it handles a very light amount of moisture. Let's go over to the powdery test here, see how well it handles that. And as you can see there, there's a little bit of flour on the finger. Let's see how that does. You wipe your finger, see what happens. So it has a very sensitive uh, biometric scanner, so keep that in mind. Uh, so far, it's been the only safe not to pass my test. And now onto my biometric blueprint test. This is the Bill Conch. Let's get to testing. This is the worst print I have. Only opening the Barska. Can't even detect that it's there. So good job there, Bill Conch. Let's go in with the OK print here, see if this will get in. Let's try it one more time. All right, so let's go over to the best of the best. And here we go. And there you go, and as you already see, the lid's already broken, and there's the result. Sometimes poor performance in one area of testing, i.e. the white powder test that it fails, becomes an attribute for another test result. The Bill Conch gets a stage three rating with the biohack test. That son of a bitch. But then again, a broken clock is right two times a day. I'll just leave it at that. Design flaw. Death. Not joking, this safe could get someone killed. As I was reviewing this shitbox, it would open just from vibration. And here is why this was happening. The last thing I want to show you with this particular safe is a design flaw. If you are right-handed and push the safe down like this, you might think it's fully latched, but it's kind of not. Um... I noticed this when testing the safe that if you think it was opening by itself by placing it down and I was wondering how that was happening if you push down on the left side it will latch one side but you can kind of feel it but it will push down and you're fine only gonna happen on the right side so and it's easy to get it to do that so if you do buy the safe make sure you push down nice and hard in the middle and you should be fine. Was it still working after a year? Yes, it was. And now to the pry test. There will be an asterisk here, as the Bill Conch features no pre-drilled mounting holes. That's really unforgivable.
To sum it all up, run. Run as far as you can from the conch. If it's not trying to kill your kids, the app will make you regret life. Help support a hopeless, helpless felon. Go to my website, exotactical.com.